Hi, this is Xtal. In today's tutorial, we'll be building a custom visual effect called the Metal Veil Filter, designed to give your footage a sleek, futuristic texture overlay. We'll be working entirely with top nodes, focusing on layering, distortion, and dynamic texture modulation to achieve that metallic, veil-like appearance. First, let's bring in our source materials using the movie file in top. I'll be working with three inputs, two AI-generated images I prepared earlier, and one silver-toned video clip. Feel free to use just images or just video depending on the style you're going for. This setup is flexible either way. To blend between the three sources, we'll use a switch top. After creating the switch node, connect all three inputs, your images and video, to its input slots. This will allow us to toggle or animate between sources as part of the effects modulation. Next. We'll connect an LFO to the index parameter of the switch to cycle smoothly through the three sources. By adjusting the frequency and waveform of the LFO, you can control how quickly or slowly the transitions happen. I'll fine-tune it to a moderate speed that keeps the effect fluid but not too chaotic. Next, we'll use a monochrome to completely desaturate the image. This step is essential for creating a clean, metallic base before we apply further distortion or layering. By removing color information, we can focus on contrast and luminance, which are key to the metal veil aesthetic. Now we'll connect an emboss after the monochrome to add depth and texture. The emboss effect helps simulate the look of etched or carved metal surfaces, giving the filter a more tactile, dimensional feel. This is a key step in reinforcing the metallic aesthetic we're going for. Next, we'll add a blur to soften the embossed texture and remove any harsh edges. This step helps the filter feel more organic and less digitally processed. A subtle blur goes a long way in making the metallic surface appear smooth and refined. Next, we'll add a level to enhance the contrast and make the edges more pronounced. 
By adjusting the brightness and black level, we can deepen the shadows and emphasize the metallic contours. We'll also reduce the overall opacity of the image to make it easier to blend with other sources later on. Now we'll connect an edge top after the level to extract the outlines of the image. This node detects the edges based on contrast and renders them in white, creating a sharp graphic layer. It enhances the structural detail of the metallic surface and adds a stylized highlight to the overall look. Connect a composite to the output of the edge, then change its operation mode to hard light to prepare for blending. This setting enhances contrast by mixing the edge highlights dynamically with underlying layers, creating a more vivid metallic effect. We'll use this composite node as a base to blend in additional footage or textures seamlessly. Now, we'll add a background behind the metallic effect. I'll be using a softly toned video that won't overpower the silver hues of the filter. Choosing a subtle background like this helps maintain the metallic vibe while adding depth to the overall composition. To further mute the tones, we'll apply a monochrome to the background footage. This desaturation step helps the background blend subtly without distracting from the metallic foreground. It's an important tweak to keep the overall look cohesive and focused. Next, we'll connect a blur to the background to soften it significantly. This ensures the background shapes become almost unrecognizable, keeping the focus on the three main source visuals. By doing so, the metallic elements stand out clearly without competing with the backdrop. Next, we'll add a level to increase the brightness of the blurred background. This adjustment helps to lift the overall luminance, ensuring the backdrop remains subtle yet visually supportive. It balances the composition by preventing the background from becoming too dark or flat. After that, connect a null and then link it to the previously created composite one node. This effectively merges the metal filter's base outlines with the softened background source. 
The result is a cohesive blend where the metallic textures and background coexist seamlessly. Next, connect a null after composite one. This acts as a clean output reference for further processing or final output. Next, we'll use an over to layer white over the composition. Connect a constant set to white into the over input. Now, let's connect a composite to group multiple nodes together in one place. Set the composite's operation to exclude and add null, over, level, and monochrome nodes as inputs. With all nodes connected, you should now see a calm, refined metallic filter taking shape. I'll add one more level to slightly boost the overall tone and brightness. This final adjustment helps the metal effect stand out with better clarity and depth. For the final output, connect the resolution followed by the movie file out in sequence. This setup ensures your video is properly scaled and ready to be exported as a finished file.
and with that, we've completed the metal veil filter together. I hope today's process has given you both insight and inspiration. I believe that creating something original and meaningful is never an easy path. Creativity requires patience, curiosity, and the courage to experiment beyond familiar boundaries. Still, I encourage you to trust your own vision and keep moving forward. As for me, through the name Extal, I will continue to grow steadily and become an artist who inspires and helps others. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.